Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here in this video or in any of my other videos that the divine wants you to see or hear. So, <clears throat> what? If you are returning, hey soul family, what's going on? I hope that you are well. I hope that you are loving on yourself. I hope that you are accepting yourself always, all of you, okay? Now, let's go ahead and take a few long deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale any stress or anxiety that you may be feeling at this time. High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Divine Beings of the Highest White Light, and Divine Ancestors, we thank you. We love you. I ask that you please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know. Let there be none of me and all of you, Most High God. Whoa. Whoa energy Archangel Michael thank you for your presence during this read please protect our energy please encamp the angels of protection around us at this time Archangel Haniel, thank you for your presence. Please give us wisdom and discernment. Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping us to continue to heal. Thank you for your presence. I say, oh my goodness, family. <laughs> the presence. Oh my goodness. <laughs> have to sit in this for a minute. Okay. So, whoever this message is about to be for, I feel as though you are a star seed. I was guided to letters. I was guided just to grab this book. I was going to go into a read However, I wasn't planning on going into it just yet. And as soon as I opened this, before I read the excerpt, they told me to turn the camera on, okay? So, this is, you were never meant to fit in, okay? So, you are someone that is somewhat of a black sheep or you felt like an outcast or you're a loner you spend a lot of time alone you feel different you may be called weird you may have been called crazy um there's something very special about you and the divine is wanting you to know you were never meant to fit in okay the chapter says don't waste this precious life trying to fit in it will never work and will be a waste of a life, yours. Who you are is far more than you could even begin to fathom. You were never meant to fit in. Being you is the whole point. Don't spend your days squeezing your uniqueness into a box-shaped world. Your soul needs room to breathe to be woven here. Let all of let all of who you are spill over. Better than that, forget the box altogether. Who you are was never meant to be contained or restrained. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. <coughs> Somebody don't want this out. <coughs> Somebody wants you to conform to the norm. <laughs> nope. Okay. You were never meant to fit in. Being you is the whole point. Don't wish away your hours, weeks, months, and years dreaming of being someplace else. If you knew how many things needed to come together for you to be right here, right now, you dream of elsewhere no more. I know where you are can be challenging and how painful it can be for your unique soul's arrival not to be celebrated and seen. You were never meant to fit in. Being you is the whole point. Don't diminish your existence by desiring to be like someone else. Since being since the beginning of time, your soul and your body have been evolving into who you currently are. Ancient stars had to explode and gravity had to pull them to earth just so you can exist and breathe in this very moment. You were never meant to fit in. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> For anyone that wants to know, this is a book written by Rebecca Campbell. Okay, you, you may know her from the Oracle cards. She makes a lot of the Oracle cards as well. And that being said, I think the star... I'm going to grab this oracle. There's something here. So, fear not, loved ones, okay? Worry not. Compare not, okay? Do not worry about not fitting in, okay? That is what makes you you. That is what makes you awesome. And people don't get you. And that's okay. A lot of people don't get me. I like it like that. <laughs> okay. So someone here could be feeling stuck. It says stagnant waters. Feeling stuck. A call for shifts. Flow and change. Okay. So someone here is being guided to get out in nature. Y'all already know. If you can. Or visit a body of water. Or... I'm hearing purge emotion, okay? This person looks like they're laying in water. So I feel like water cups energy gives emotion. So you may need to purge. You may need to cry, okay? You may be feeling, in this feeling stuck energy, you may be feeling alone. Um, but your God, you are not alone. The presence in here, whoever you are, the angelic presence, the energy I feel in here, Let's me know that you are surrounded by energetic beings, okay? You are, trust me, you are not alone, whoever you are. Okay, this card is kind of heavy, so we're going to hold on to that one and get a couple more. Inner Earth, you will survive this. New solutions and beginnings are coming in. Okay, again, this is nature and water. So there's something significant about water. You could be a water sign or you could be an earth sign. Or you could be dealing with situations concerning those signs. Or those time periods. What should we be aware of? You are not meant to fit in. Oh, that's way too many. Okay. The water carrier. <laughs> water is definitely significant. What really matters, reflect and reprioritize, okay? The water carrier. This is giving me the energy of you're carrying a lot of emotions. And I, I was just saying about purging. 
the water, okay? Purging, needing to cry, okay? Reflect on what really matters. So what I'm feeling is like this stagnant waters, this energy, I feel like you may be feeling stuck or you may be feeling sadness about something not moving forward but whatever this was they're wanting you to really look closely at it and reprioritize because this may not be something that was meant for you in the first place okay you're not meant to fit in that wasn't what was meant for you okay this one in call healer seer priestess soul purpose okay this person looks like they're surrounded by water as well okay so you could be a healer or seer the high priest or priestess okay this could be your soul purpose or you could be meant to connect with someone to gain more insight okay that something you're going to be enlightened about is going to crack you open rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life okay you could be feeling what like you're at rock bottom in these stagnant waters but coupled with the message from the book okay you're trying to put yourself fit yourself in a situation it could be in a purpose something you're wanting to do for work maybe that is not your sole purpose you're not meant to be doing that you're not maybe not meant to be with this person that you you think you're meant to be with maybe the city that you're in you're not meant to be there okay um, it could be a host of things it's going to be different for everybody this is not a personal reading this is a general reading so take only what resonates with you and leave the rest okay this message could be past, present, or future. Also, um, if anything should come up about mental health, physical health, law, or finances, please do seek professionals in all of those areas, okay? There's something heavy here. <clears throat> I'm going to try to use this deck to clarify... Holy Spirit, what is stagnant waters? What should we be aware of concerning stagnant waters? Faded meeting, okay? Meant to be. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Destiny, predetermined encounter, okay? So, whoever you are in this stagnant waters energy, you're not stuck, okay? There is a faded meaning meant to be, okay? We read in the book, you are not meant to fit in, okay? There is a destined path, a faded meeting that's coming in, an encounter that has been predetermined for you that is going to place you in your soul purpose or your soul connection or wherever you're meant to be, okay? Whatever this is now is not it. Okay, give me one more for stagnant waters, please, Holy Spirit. Yeah, possibilities, free-spirited adventure, and risk, okay? It is a risk to go against the grain. It always is because we um, put ourselves in a position to be ridiculed, to be called crazy, um, but it's a it's a risk that's worth taking, okay? But they're saying free-spirited adventure and taking risks, possibilities, okay? In order for you to connect, you have to be free. You have to let go. You have to be in this divine flow, okay? To allow the divine to move you where you need to be. I'm seeing the flexibility card in my third eye. You can't be rigid in thought, mind, and spirit. And also purging this water that you're carrying is, is very important because you're not likely to be at the right place at the right time in the right energy for this faded meeting 
if you're still in this emotional stagnancy. Yeah, change. Okay. Changes need to be made. What's the water carrier, Holy Spirit? What's the water carrier? Family, fertility, pregnancy, okay. So this could be about a relationship. This could be about your biological, physical 3D family, okay. This is a tough one. Okay, karma on the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of heavy emotion with me talking about purging. You could feel like you don't fit in with your family. You could be being guided away from your family. And this could be a very hard thing for you to do, okay? But your guides are wanting you to look at this situation. This is reflect on what really matters, okay? So they're guiding you to really evaluate this situation. Um, purge your emotions, okay? And connect with your guides. All this nature and water is definitely giving me connecting with Mother Gaia, connecting with the divine, your spirit guides, okay? Consequences, okay? Okay. I feel like someone has been dealing with some situation that's been really hard to deal with, but you are still having a hard time moving out of this situation, being in this adventure and free-spirited energy, taking a risk to move away, potentially from family or friends. But with karma being on the bottom of the deck, I feel like karma is going to hit for whatever this is, okay? And I feel like this is part of the reason why you're being guided to move on into your purpose um, to where the divine is trying to take you, okay? Yeah, the pain is right behind this karma. I feel like there's some situation, okay? They want me to clarify these. Secrets, okay? Something that has been concealed is about to be revealed. Okay? Whatever this pain is, whatever you've endured, whatever's causing you to be in this energy and create this stagnancy for you, karma is here. Okay? Whoever did whatever they did, this could be you. Um, no one is exempt from karma. Uh, not me, not anybody. Okay, so whatever the situation is for you, you will know. But there's something significant about some pain associated with something that took place in your family. And you're being guided to take a look at this, to heal it, okay? Right now, you could be at a crossroads where you're in this stagnant energy and you feel as though you can't move forward. Some of you may be wanting to reconnect with these family members, okay? But I strongly feel like, okay, with time here, the divine is saying in divine timing, you will be able to. But right now, there's some changes that have to be made. What's karma? What's karma? Player and mask, okay? So someone could have cheated in a relationship. Someone that you thought you knew, you didn't know. They were wearing a mask. But again, the God is saying in time, there is a faded meeting over here, okay? predestined encounter with someone that you're going to connect with that you were meant to connect with you were not meant to fit in with this family with this person this could have been a husband or a wife um, this person was not authentic they were not being real with you okay 
mystery. There was a lot that was hidden from you about who this person truly was, okay? Anything else here? Pain, okay? What's pain? We have memories, silence, and second chance, okay? So since you are now at a crossroads with this situation, I feel as though you're in your head thinking about this. You may not be talking to this person right now. Um, bottom of the deck, elusive, dishonesty, deception, and trickery, okay? The divine is guiding you not to engage and entertain a second chance, okay? Free will, you are welcome to do whatever you would like to. But uh, with this coming out, there there's something else that's meant for you that's far better this is divinely orchestrated okay predetermined i don't know if you can see that at the bottom destined okay meant to be okay let's think back on the book about not putting yourself in a box not putting yourself in situations that do not allow you to be who you are and do not allow you to accept what you do not deserve, okay? So, that's going to be your choice, okay? Let's see what's over here. In call, healer, seer, priestess, or priest, soul purpose. What is that, Holy Spirit? Why is that here? legal matters, justice, divorce, balance, and judgment, okay? This is the balance and the judgment and justice, okay? This could, again, with divorce, this could be a, an actual divorce from this person. This could be a divorce from anything, you disconnecting from anything, okay? This could also be about the scales being balanced, justice, judgment being your calling, your sole purpose. Okay. This is the energy of the divine. Divine intervention is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is God's telling you come on home. <laughs> come in here. Let's sort this out. Let's get you purging this energy releasing what needs to be released so that we can get you on the path that you're meant to be on, okay? This could be, I could be talking to a divine feminine right now, or this could be, um, you could be coming to contact with your divine feminine if you are divine masculine, okay? What else do we need to know concerning, yeah, fear and bluff? Pretending, mass exaggerating. This could be this person's energy that feels like you you won't disconnect, you won't divorce them, you won't balance out your energy, you won't step into your calling or whatever you're meant to be doing. Okay, this person doesn't believe it. Okay, but. The divine says different. This person is going to be shocked when you do move in the direction that the divine is guiding you to. And you are and you're being authentic in your true divine purpose. And you are fitting in where you're meant to be. Okay? And then those romantic feelings, honey, come on through. Okay? With the person you're truly meant to be with. Okay? Or, if it's not romantic feelings, it's just uh, the warm, fuzzy feeling of being in a partnership, if it's a business, if it's family members, of being where you're meant to be, okay? Feeling it. Anything else here? Let's get something for fear. Let's 
Something is on fear. Influences and loyalty, okay? In the reverse, both of them. Somebody feels like I'm hearing more of the same. More of the same. So this is somebody that's doubting. Yeah, I said doubting and we have hoping, okay? So somebody's fearful that you're going to be faced with a lot of the same behavior, that you're attracting the same type of low vibrational people with... Uh, that are not a good influence on you, that are not moving you towards this um, soul purpose. With loyalty, you don't feel like you'll have somebody you can really trust, that's reliable, that believes in you. Okay, those are all affirmations and manifestations. So if you are saying that to yourself, whether it's out loud or inside, you are manifesting that, so you have to stop that. You have to stop that. You have to start affirming that you are worthy of abundance, of love, of loyalty, of positivity, of fairness, okay? All the things that the divine says is meant for you is fated for you to have you have to believe it and you have to affirm it because if you're saying these types of things that's what you're going to produce okay and hoping is beautiful but hoping is not knowing okay we don't want to hope we want to know that the divine is delivering if you're hoping there is a small piece of doubt there that it won't be okay no hoping this is the knowing i know okay high priestess energy the seer knowing okay anything else here holy spirit okay i'm simply general is coming out general what's the general message holy spirit Distracted, sidetracked, change, and delays, okay? So, this is your energy, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have clarity, okay? I feel like your guys are wanting you to get connected like yesterday. Because right now, it's like you're sitting out there. We see, Notice how we have water again on this last card. We started with water. But this person is just kind of sitting there. Whereas this person here is submerged, okay? Something is significant about a spiritual bath or visiting a body of water and really connecting. I feel like this person here may be heavy in thought about a situation, but they want you to connect in water to release, to purge emotions, to release this toxic energy that you are connected to so that they can give you clarity on how to move forward okay let's see what the archangels want to say because i really feel their presence strong today <laughs> let it go this situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever, sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. Okay? Wow. Earth Angel. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. Okay? So you are an Earth Angel, whoever I'm picking up on. Um, Starseed Earth Angel energy. Archangel spirit guides, we love you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your guidance and protection. What messages do you have for our loved one today? <laughs> I 
Archangel Michael is with you now. I cannot make this up. Even though you can't see it, I am actively working on the situation. I am here and helping you. Trust me when I tell you, this is real, okay? It's not just me saying it and pulling these cards out. Trust me, okay? Wherever you are, like I said, you have a lot of angelic presence around you and a lot of archangel presence around you, okay? Pay attention to the signs. I feel like they're sending you a lot of synchronicities and signs. Uh, angel numbers, feathers, butterflies, um, dragonflies, Pay attention and you can connect with your guides. And when you connect and you ask something, ask them to show you specific signs. Say, when this happens, please show me a blue butterfly or something like that, okay? And watch it happen. Archangel Raphael is here helping you to heal. The Divine Physician, thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body, okay? Oh, these cards, oh my goodness, Archangel Sandalphon, this is about your prayers, okay? Your prayers are very powerful. Tune in to your divine potential, bring the world into harmony, okay? Your prayers, call upon Archangel uh, sandal fine when you're praying and the last one Archangel Mary open your heart with compassion and fold others in love okay that was your read family I love you so very much I really hope that this message has helped you if so please hit the like button share subscribe and join the family if you are in need of a meditation, check the Lightworks description box, um, the Lightworks goodie bag. There are tons of meditations there. They are free just because I love you and I uh, want you to keep your energy grounded and cleansed. Um, use your own discernment with what you decide to use because some of the frequencies are higher than others. If you feel uh, uncomfortable with anything, just simply move on and go to something else, okay? If you feel inclined to donate to the channel, it's always greatly appreciated. My information is in the description box for that, as well as if you need to book a personal reading. Until next time, family, peace and blessings. Ashay.